Welcome back YouTube. I know it's been a while. Welcome to the first video of my new baby mover. Uh, it's a 2005 Outback codenamed Shipperoo. 253,000 miles. Still runs good. Got a dirt sheep. So uh, we're going to go over some of the stuff. But in this video, I'm going to do brakes. Here's the part number for the front rotor. Here's the part number for the front set of pads. Remove the cap from the master cylinder. That way when you compress the calipers, the air will come out and the fluid will rise. Get a three quarter inch socket and a breaker bar or a drill, whatever you got. Take off the lug nuts and pull the wheels off. Use a 14 millimeter wrench break loose the caliper bolts use a flathead and you're going to use the flathead to compress the uh, front calipers that one's a little too big but you're going to jam it in here work it back and forth until you compress these pistons then you're going to take these bolts out and remove the caliper. Obviously from this you can tell uh, yeah the brakes had barely anything left and they were chattering pretty good at highway speeds. To get the rotor off we have to take the bracket off. To get the bracket off you need to use 17 millimeter socket. There's a bolt here and a bolt at the top. Use brake cleaner, spray off the rotor on both sides because they ship with oil and uh, you don't want oil on your brakes and then it's not going to break obviously right grab two clips out of the bag there should be four clips replace the noise reduction uh, shims in and then we're ready to take this bracket bolt it back on the hub put your new pads in you don't have to lube the back, they already have the anti-squeal pads glued onto the back. The one with this little dingy dong here, you put that on the back. Okay. And you just slide them into the little grooves. Doing it with one hand is there we go. So you just slide them in. Now we're gonna take the caliper, put it over it, put the two bolts in. To lube the sliders you're gonna just pull this out and then it'll un... this rubber is on a little metal lip here. You wipe it down, put high temperature um, grease on the pin, slide it back in, pop this rubber back over it. At this point in the video I'm gonna give you all your torque specs so they should be on screen right now. So for all you who always bother about torque specs, here you go. And that's all you got to do for the front brakes. So what I'm going to do is put the tire back on. Thanks for coming and watching, guys. Hopefully I saved you some money so you don't have to pay a dealer a bunch of money to do this because it's super easy. Realistically, anyone should be able to do it. If I did save you some money, maybe think about hooking me up with a dollar a month on Patreon. I know I sound like a douche asking, but hey, I'm trying to put out more videos than I can afford to put out. Anyways, till next time, wrench on.